Tantor Audio, a division of recorded books, presents Slightly Scandalous by Mary Ballog. Narrated by Rosalind Landor. Chapter One By the time she went to bed, Lady Freya Bedwin was in about as bad a mood as it was possible to be in. She dismissed her maid, though a truckle bed had been set up in her room and the girl had been preparing to sleep on it. But Alice snored and Freya had no wish to sleep with a pillow wrapped about her head and pressed to both ears, merely so that the proprieties might be observed. But his grace gave specific instructions, my lady, the girl reminded her timidly. In whose service are you employed? Freya asked, her tone quelling. The Duke of Bucastle's or mine? Alice looked at her anxiously, as if she suspected that it was a trick question, as well she might. Although she was Freya's maid, it was the Duke of Bucastle, Freya's eldest brother, who paid her salary, and he had given her instructions that she was not to move from her lady's side, night or day, during the journey from Grand Maison Park in Leicestershire to Lady Holt Baron's lodgings on the Circus in Bath. He did not like his sister's travelling alone. "'Yours, my lady,' Alice said. "'Then leave,' Freya pointed at the door. Alice looked at it dubiously. There is no lock on it, my lady, she said. And if there are intruders during the night, you are going to protect me from harm? Freya asked scornfully. It would more likely be the other way around. Alice looked pained, but she had no choice but to leave. And so Freya was left in sole possession of a second-rate room in a second-rate inn with no servant in attendance and no lock on the door, and in possession, too, of a thoroughly bad temper. Bath was not a destination.